Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord laid his word in my heart and I had to rush here to do this video because it is very important. Someone, you need to hear this because this is your big moment. This is a time when you need to hear this and when you need to hearken to the voice of the Lord. I pray that this prophetic word meets just the right person that needs to hear this at this point in time in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God says I should warn you, don't sleep. Now is not the time to take a break. Now is not the time to want to, you know, slow down on what you are doing. Now is the time for you to keep doing it until it molds up, until it has finally fully formed. You know, there is a tendency, this is what I understood by this prophetic word. There is a tendency that when you work so hard, you want to take a break. You want to rest a little. You want to, you know, catch your bread. But there are seasons in your life when God gives you an opportunity to make meaning out of your life. There are seasons in your life when God gives you an opportunity to make a difference, when God gives you an opportunity to make a mark. And that is your peak season. You don't have to, you know, trade it for anything. You don't have to um, act as though there's going to be better. There are times when there are seasons for you to invest in a particular thing you are doing. You might tell yourself you have worked so hard, you have to sleep, or you have worked so hard, you should take a break. But those are your great big moments you have to invest in to make sure that things work forever. It is not always going to be like this. You will not always have this opportunity. You feel like you're working yourself a lot and you need to rest. But this opportunity you're having right now, you might never have it. Especially for someone, probably maybe you're single and you, you are working on something. You are single and God has blessed you with something and you work so hard. And you tell yourself maybe you should take a break right now. You should take a vacation. You have been working so hard. You need to take some rest. Just maybe. God is making all these opportunities come to you at this point in time because very soon you're getting married and when you get married, it will not be the same again. Things are not going to be the same. You will need time to, to spend with your spouse. You will need uh, uh, to create time to raise your children and you're not going to have that opportunity again to, you know, to put in all that time in your work. Or maybe you have this special time you, you spend with God. You have this special time you, you study the word of God, you pray, and you've been having these intense moments and you feel like you should just give it a break. You have been spending a lot of time doing that. I tell you the truth, a time is coming when you will not have that time again. Whenever you have the opportunity to do something, maximize it maximize it because the time is coming when you have to rely on that um, past experience you have to rely on the moment of fellowship you had with god in those days you have to rely on how hard you worked for that thing that's going to be your anchor and not your present day experience your present uh, 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 life happenings now is not the time for you to sleep the lord sent me to tell someone now is not the time for you to sleep now is not the time for you to take a break. Now is the time for you to invest in that thing you are doing. And sometimes when you take a break from something when it, it was not time yet for you to take that break, it becomes so difficult for you to come back and catch up. The other day, the Lord was ministering to me. You know, I took a break from something I do every day. And the break felt so good that I didn't want to come back. I just wanted to come, to keep on, you know, just staying away and just keep on having, you know, that free time to relax and all whatnot. And the Lord ministered to me. He told me, a body at rest 
would want to remain at rest until extra pressure is applied to it. Of course, that is the law of physics. But God had to reiterate that to me. Like you need an extra effort to go back to doing what you used to do. Naturally, your body will not want you to go back there. Your body will want you to rest. But you've got to exert enough pressure. You've got to go, you know, an extra mile to go back to those things you used to do. Sometimes taking a break might just be detrimental to you. It is difficult to go back. You know, you just want to enjoy that peace. You just want to enjoy those few moments of sleep. If you used to wake up, maybe if you used to sleep for three hours or four hours or five hours and your break has made it possible for you to sleep for seven hours, six hours, it becomes so beautiful that going back to sleeping for four hours becomes difficult. Now is not a time for you to sleep. Now is not a time for you to take a break. Now is the time for you to invest in that thing you are doing. The time is coming when you will not have the luxury of time anymore. And you will rely on what used to happen before for a better and a sustainable life. I just pray that this word has gotten to the right people who need to hear it at this point in time. And that God will empower you to keep pushing, to keep fighting. Hallelujah. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.